Hey guys, it's Alma. Okay, pardon the TV in the background. I'm just going to show you what it's like behind the scenes when I'm meal prepping and doing videos. So I have got um, a recipe going on. Well, first, let me interrupt. First, I have Bravo TV on. Yeah, I am a Bravo holic. It's sad. Uh, I've got a Labrador Retriever over here asleep. <laughs> I've got a English Bulldog. Over here, asleep. He's got a blanket down so he doesn't get tongue of fur on the couch. I got my TV on. Oh my gosh. I got my Labrador. I've got the cauliflower uh, mixture that I made. I, I don't know if I can't remember the name right now. I'll put a link to it. I've got that prepping right now. Getting ready to cut the chicken for it. <laughs> got trash in the sink that I need to take out. Dishes I need to get loaded. Uh, food that I am cooking right now. It's got about 10 more minutes, 12 more minutes uh, to go. Here is the first batch that I made along with uh, some muffins that I made in my George Foreman grill. I've got water that I gotta get put away. I've got all of this that I've got to get put away. I unloaded the dishwasher and just shoved things over here. Now I've gotta get it all put up. So yeah. That's what it's like right now, guys. Yep. All right. Show you some finished products in a bit. Okay, about to put the lid on this. This is the broccoli cauliflower with chicken casserole that David loves. Do it on the skillet. You know me. No oven. So yeah, more meal prep. Here are the, um, what are we gonna call these? I don't know what we're gonna call them. We're gonna call this Yummy! <laughs> no, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. That's the uh, cauliflower. And keep in mind that this is a uh, veggie tot, so it had cauliflower and broccoli in it. So this is what it looks like. It's so spongy, guys. I mean, so good. I mean, would you complain about having this for breakfast? I wouldn't. It's really hearty, really weighty. In the background, you'll see <laughs> my ingredients. This is what I need to scan and put into my fitness pal so I can get the macros. That's how I do it. All right, so here it is. Part of meal prep, part of the video that you'll see probably uh, the next day or so. All right, yum, yum. So I'm not gonna tell you everything before you do the video. All right, enjoy. Ooh, look at that. Yum. I like my color polish, guys. Did this last night. Look, see this here? I had broken this nail um, a few weeks ago. And you can see a few weeks ago, um, all the way down to the quick. So that's how much, and I just put acrylic over it. That's how much it's grown out. So now that broken piece of the tip, it's almost done. So now I'm just waiting for this nasty part to grow out. Yeah, but that's it. Oh, did you hear that? That means the next batch is done. All right, guys. Thank you guys for uh, Father's Day breakfast. I ended up making the uh, chorizo really thick cuts instead of getting it real granular. Turned out great. So after you add in the chorizo, you'll have eggs, cheese, and pork rinds, and that finishes out that dish. Okay guys, so a quick update on my meal prep. So guys, I don't know if you can see where the line is on this container. Uh, David got on the scale and he didn't know why he had gained weight. And I'm like, I don't know, hon. I mean, maybe you're experiencing you know, DOMS, uh, delayed onset uh, muscle soreness, and it, your body's holding fluid. And as I'm getting things out of the refrigerator, I pull out the uh, chia. And oh yeah, there is basically, oh I don't know, maybe three servings left. Uh, and he said, I, I didn't eat a lot, I just had some spoonfuls. And David did a spoonful like this. And he did, oh I don't know, five. We know why you gained weight, David. Quit cheating, little piglet. David and Alma on the search for Bigfoot. 
fix it. Yes, we are. They made an announcement in the city of Round Rock and adjacent areas that lead to the Brushy Creek Trail that there are Bigfoot sightings. Now, we are natural skeptics, and we do not believe in Bigfoot. However, having said that, I will say this, that I was looking back towards the ridgeline, and I did see what looked like a big hairy ape running through the woods, wearing a Speedo and a turquoise bow tie. I stared at him for a moment, and he stopped and <laughs> stared at me. And I said, are you a Bigfoot? And he looked at me. He didn't say anything, but he did hold up his feet. Oddly enough, his toenails were painted. <laughs> I was Honey, I think that was part of Keep Austin Weird. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Bigfoot is an Austin hippie. <laughs> it's, some people are saying it's just a publicity stunt to get the kids out and about over the summer searching for Bigfoot. But we think Bigfoot is here. I think he's here. Now this is a major zoological find. This proves, this proves conclusively, well actually it's just anecdotal evidence, that Bigfoot rides a bicycle, <laughs> primitive though it may be, it may just be one wheel, which is astounding on its own because obviously Bigfoot has discovered how to make wheels, which is the first step to an evolutionary uh, change. But obviously, he's made a bicycle ramp. A bicycle ramp. We can see going down the trail. Ah, help me. Baby, baby, if he knows, I'm going to approach it slowly. Look at pause. If he smells our scent on it, he may not use it again. <gasps> oh my God. Bigfoot Shop. shops at Home Depot. Oh, I knew it. <sighs> Home Depot is the best, guys. Huh. You know, the thing about it is, if he shops at Walmart, no one would ever notice him. I shop at Walmart. Obviously, when nobody's looking, probably at night, because he's a nocturnal creature, he builds things. Hey, he's crafty. Those were four guys who saw Bigfoot right up the trail. <laughs> exactly. Okay, just on a side note, guys, this is the craziness that those guys were just going down. Look at this. Do their mothers know they're doing this? Is what I want to look. And it has a huge jump. Maybe this is Big Tooth's baby's teething ring. That's got to be a teething ring. You take the high ride, I'll take the low ride. I'll get over there before you. You will. Good job, honey. Stop. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I got you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different when you're holding a camera. And where are we, David? We're getting back on the Bigfoot Brushy Creek Nature Trail. <sighs> honey, we made it safely. Off the trail. No Bigfoot sighting. Alright guys, we're safe for a little while.